So you know that quest at the beginning of Try and 3 u where you deliver monster guts and encounter Lagaikris while doing so? Most players will either run away and carry on with the quest, or fight it and fail trying. But what happens if you actually beat the Lagaikris earlier than you're supposed to? So I boot up the game and talk to the Moga Chief and he says this. Yes, the Lagaikris is mighty. Too powerful for any human to tangle with. Strong is one thing, but invincible is something else. And one day, just like the rest of us, it has to die. Ha! With a statement like that, this should be doable, right? So my thought going into this is to do what any noob would do when they first see a Lagaiacris. Fight it almost immediately despite the warning from the Moga's sweetheart. It surprisingly wasn't hitting hard, which was weird since I didn't upgrade my armor. But unsurprisingly, I hardly did any damage and fainted soon after. Now that you've seen how a noob goes about fighting Lagaiacris early, you'll now see the strategy I used to make the fight more doable. Wrestling a bunch of Buttfangos and Renopolos to get parts needed to make the Baron's Blazon Gunlance. I did the quest again to get the rest of what I needed, but fell one material short. Are you kidding me? I'm one short? Ugh. So I had to tussle with the butt fangos again. Now I was gonna get the last part needed and intentionally failed to get out of the quest faster, but I ended up getting it on the second to last booty fango, which meant I might as well beat the final one to complete the quest. But after finally getting what I needed, I was able to craft the gun lance and now had a very strong weapon this early in the game. All I needed now was better armor, which I decided on the alloy armor because it has critical eye and speed sharpen which would be useful. So I got back to the Tanzia port and went to each map to get all the ores needed and made the alloy armor. But there was a bit of an oversight. The armor is weak to thunder. I wasn't too worried since Lagaikris didn't hit too hard when I was using the leather armor. While I would use the farm to get the resources needed for the fight, I would have to cycle the Kelbyhorn quest over and over if I wanted this done quickly, which would get tedious real fast. So instead, I opted to manually gather the resources myself since it was actually quicker and less boring. After a while of gathering, I crafted some items and got my inventory prepared for the hunt. I upgraded my armor, ate at the canteen, and was now ready to face the Lagaiacris. I was doing pretty well at the start since I was doing decent damage and even broke the chest, but sometime after, I noticed that something was off. I've been at this for 17 minutes and he's not down yet. I wonder what's up. He's not limping yet. Did they bloat his health intentionally in this quest or something? Okay, this has been going on for 20 minutes. I'm gonna see if I can finish him off. It normally would not take me this long to beat him. What is going on? He's still not limping after all this time? What what is this Lagaikris on? Just go down already. Come on, I've been at this for almost 30 minutes. Is he gonna limp actually? No? The fight was starting to drag on more and more. Normally when I fight Lagaikris in low rank with the Baron's Blazon, it takes around 10 minutes to beat. But for this quest, 30 minutes have gone by with no signs of limping. If I don't beat this before time runs out, then I'll know for sure that he has infinite health. Oh, I cut off his tail. I at least want to get that. <laughs> I only have one potion left at this point. 10 minutes? Oh my gosh, it's been 40 minutes in this quest and he's not down. There's no way he's invincible. No way he's invincible. No way he's invincible. Again, how? I'm dealing so much damage to him. How am I surviving on this low health right now? <laughs> Five minutes! Here I am fighting for all I'm worth here, and he's still not down. I'm surviving on this low health for this long. At this point, I'm just waiting for the timer to run out. This just seems like an impossible task. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> I've been overwhelmed. I'm not giving up yet. I'm curious, how much time is left? 40, okay, I have 40 seconds. If his health is bloated in any way, he has to have some amount of it, right? Ah, no! Oh. Strong is one thing, but invincible is something else. So yeah, if you wondered what happens if you beat Lagaikris early, the answer is you can't, because Capcom really didn't want players to bypass the game's story. I'm pretty sure even if you could beat it, nothing would happen. You wouldn't instantly get 5 star quests, nor get special dialogue from the NPC saying, Wow, we thought you were reckless, but you did it! You've slain the Lagaikris! It would be cool though. But hey, at least I got a Lagaikris tail. That's something. <laughs> this was a bit of an experiment, but if you want to see a challenge, I recommend watching this video next as I try to beat Monster Hunter Rise without losing sharpness.